up everybody this is none defense currently on the account boom bitch angie still on the team america too um i was doing an i thought i had set up the the finish fixing the memory in my phone by deleting some old unimportant videos started the recording and it said no nope, you got to do more and it stopped the video so we're just gonna go in and show you what we what we had done prior to that not much it, it, we didn't get that far we just did a couple of attacks on the on the op there. What are we doing here? Let's start that. So, we started an op earlier. We said Team Grublet will attack this ba base very soon. We started the process. Let's go ahead and check that out. This is Grublet's first attack. Ultimately, we were trying to double hack these two rockets. Only managed to get one before the uh, job was over. Uh, it just it died faster than it was able to get that second rock off uh, second hack off so what can you do that happens but oh we just started working our way to get our um, our little grublets up here just want to start weakening this area soften it up a little bit and it's not an amazing attack and then we started doing damage to that shock launcher getting in preparation for the next attack. So this doesn't make, go much longer. Let's go ahead and hop over to none. See his attack. Get over there. Made sure to drop the bombardiers first in this situation so they didn't catch any strays from those cannons, hopefully. These were unboosted. That does matter. They were boosted. I'd have probably smoked a little better and just done a lot more, but it's not time to boost. We're not boosting again until Angela, uh, Boom Bitch Angie, this account has 50 powders, and we're just not there. But as you can see, we worked our way down. We finished bombing that shock launcher. We kept this area locked down pretty good. Managed to get rid of a couple more of them rockets. I cleared those mines because that's just kind of how I roll. Okay. So now we're on Angie. She's currently loaded uh, Scorched Ear. Unboosted. That'll probably be better for her. I don't think we're going to get the win here. Yeah. Yeah, I think the, uh, the smartest play here would be to... If I'm not going to win, I have to think about the fact that my teammates do weird things. So I want to take as much much of the guesswork out of their life as possible. So we're going to flare over here to this corner just to get them there. We're then going to flare up here like normal. You know, just to get everybody up here and angled properly. Um... I mean, I could just go up here and just fight from this rocket down to these lasers. Just coming in straight this way, following these, uh, following those power cells. Deal with that. Just clear up the end there. Yeah, I don't see much value in trying to sneak the bombardiers around. So, uh, yeah, that's what we'll do. We're just gonna, I'm gonna fight this area. It's a little out of, out of sorts for me, a little not what I usually do, but in this case, I think it's gonna be okay. So here we go. We hit attack. Can't go back now. Alrighty. Okay. Just let them walk. Get up there. Just for a little bit. Okay. Just want to get... Now we're going to flare that rocket directly. And shock it. Okay, now we need to shock to keep these lasers locked down. Because they do damage to my bombardiers. They already took out a couple and we don't like that. Okay, we're going to lock those down. See if we can 
get some action happening. Just clear the path for my teammates a little bit there. Just going to try to open things up for them a little bit so that way they can take a nice, long, safe walk through there and not worry about it. So now we're coming back up here. Just got a flare just to get everybody out of there. And these were unboosted. And uh, that boost matters. If, uh, if I had boosted all three accounts, I would have won this base. But I didn't have boost. They weren't boosted. So this is just the way it is. We just live with it that way. But we've cleared this pathway. So now all of our, our teammates just need to go around here. And they have a nice clean hallway to work their way to the back. And I'll bomb that because I have a bomb and I can't take the gunboat with me. So I'll take use it there. So yay. There we go. We did that. That was a thing that happened. So you, uh, let me update the notes here. So I have to hop over to Grublet so I can update the notes. Update those notes. Here we go. say grublet cleared a path towards the rear towards the rear recommend boosted scorchers But otherwise, trust your instincts. It's a, uh, a line I've used many times when pointing, when uh, putting notes. Just trust your instincts. That's my way of saying I just don't really feel like telling you what to do. And if I tell you what to do and you do it wrong, I then have to be mad about it. But if I tell you to trust your instincts and you do it wrong, hey, you did what I told you to do. You trusted your instincts. In this case, they were wrong, but whatever. <coughs> so, while that's happening, oh, got to get my battery charged. We'll wrap this video up soon. Let's just do some Dr. T with Grublet here. So, I did drive out to my brother's house yesterday. I did get to do some projects with him. We had a good time. I did talk to him about introducing you guys to him, uh, let him uh, letting him make some appearances on this channel he was actually okay with it it's just yesterday was not a good day for that we uh but that you know that's okay uh what i do have is he gave me permission to share some of the videos that i have in my phone of him being goofy and i have more than a few so that'll be fun we're gonna i'm gonna start trying to get some of those uploaded try to you know make some more space in my phone and i asked my brother because as i mentioned in my video yesterday my family we uh had a tradition of hanging out you know out in the country hanging out by campfires at night and everyone would take turns telling stories and whoever had the best story won the night there was no prize it was just bragging rights you just understand that nobody uh, in a family of storytellers, nobody could tell a better story than you did that night. You know, that's, that's what the whole point of that is. And Jude, my brother Jude, he has won that battle so many nights, and I'm very proud of him. Hey, don't get me wrong, I've dropped a few good stories, uh, but the story, the, my best stories, I'm not allowed to tell around certain family members. So, uh... Yeah, so I never won a campfire night, and that's okay. That's okay. You know, I mean, I've, I've gotten a few laughs here and there on some of my Tamer stuff. But uh, my brother Jude, he has the stories that are not only somewhat appropriate around mixed company, uh, they're also quite, quite funny. Like, hilariously funny. Uh, he, he has a, a knack for uh, uh i've described him as a showman he is a showman 
uh, he's more than that. He is uh, like he is my hero. I love my brother very, very much. Very, very much. Okay, let's just go in and do another. When we want to start showing videos of what we're actually doing out at his house, it, he does own a. It's a nice little piece of property, and he's just been working. Him and his beautiful, amazing, talented wife, and I can't wait. To uh, show you um, some of the woodworking skills that she has. I said yes, she. She is an amazing artist. Uh, amazing worker. Very dedicated to getting things done. But they are trying to build a cabin. And uh, using that cabin. Putting that cabin on their property so they can rent it out. To, uh, you know, it's like a, a, what is it called? Like an Airbnb type of thing. And, uh, you know, they put a lot of time into it. I help out when I can. You know, when I go over there and it's me and Jude, we get to do a wide variety of projects. And uh, when it's not me and Jude, then uh, I tend to kind of keep myself occupied in other ways you know I, as i say there's always always something to do at jude's house something productive that needs to happen even if it's just getting on the tractor and uh, and just dragging some trees out of the woods you know there's always always something i don't know if i'll be going back out there today i mean i'd like to i can nobody's stopping me but I do know my brother won't be there. So we'll figure that out. Well, I'm just going to do one more victory. Or one more uh, Captain T here. Dr. T here. And then I'm going to wrap this video up. And we'll get that posted. And then I'll start thinking about getting some videos of my brother Jude up there. Because again, he's hilarious. I think you'll like him. Everybody likes him. I mean, there's got to be somebody out there in this crazy world that doesn't like my brother Jude. It's just hard to imagine why they wouldn't like my brother Jude. Based on the fact that everybody likes my brother Jude. And I know you're thinking, it's like, well, nobody is liked by everybody. I'm like, yeah, I mean, that's more or less should be true, but I'm telling you, Everybody likes my brother Jude. He's just a good dude. And I look forward to introducing you to him. I know exactly what video I'm going to upload next to show, to introduce him to you. And then I have a few other videos to follow that up. That'll just kind of continue to give you an idea, a little bit of insight into the type of person he is and why I love him so much if my brother decided to run for president i would he would have my a thousand trillion percent support i think he'd be fantastic at it when i've mentioned the subject to jude he said the only reason he would never run for any type of government office is because he would be expected to go to the office and he ain't doing that so i was like all right well i guess you can't can't argue with that so, all right, I'm going to wrap this video up here. I want to thank y'all so much for checking in with us. Please remember to uh, check uh, to fo follow the channel. Uh, I don't care if you like and subscribe. That doesn't matter to me. What I care about is that you meet my brother. So keep your eyes on this space. I will be posting some stuff, and what I want to do is a series where Jude will sit with me at a campfire, Give him a cigar, let him smoke his cigar, and just let him tell some of his stories. And uh, I told him yesterday, I said, well, one day, Jude, you're going to get dementia, and you're not going to remember these stories. So if nothing else, this is an opportunity to document your past. And he was like, yeah, yeah, you're right, you're right. So I look forward to it. Thank you all so much. Y'all have a beautiful day.